हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यूर ऑल डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम यू ऑल टू द नाइन्टी डेज टू कैट सीरीज इन द लास्ट पार्ट वी हैव डन फैक्टर्स पार्ट वन इन विच वी हैव डन द बेसिक्स इंक्लूडिंग नंबर ऑफ फैक्टर्स सम ऑफ फैक्टर्स प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फैक्टर्स ऑड इवन फैक्टर्स एंड परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फैक्टर्स इन दिस पार्ट वी विल टॉक अबाउट द एडवांस कॉन्सेप्ट सो लेट्स बिगिन वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट सम ऑफ फैक्टर्स इन द लास्ट पार्ट so what we are studying in advance in this part we are studying sum of factors but with certain conditions let's take a few examples sum of factors of 180 divisible by 6 so 180 we know is 2 square into 3 square into 5 to the power 1 this number to be divisible by 6 it must include 1 2 and a 3 right so the powers of 2 that i can take in as factors will be 2 to the power 1 and 2 to the power 2 Similarly, for three also three to the power one and three to the power two. For five, we can take five to the power zero as well as five to the power one. We can't take two to the power zero here because it will not be divisible by six otherwise. Six is a multiple of two and three. So what is the answer here? This becomes four plus four plus two. This becomes six, and this becomes nine plus three twelve, and this becomes finally five plus one six again. This becomes 432. How to calculate sum of perfect squares of n? For the perfect squares, I can take here 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 2. Here I can take 3 to the power 0 and 3 to the power 2. And here I can take only 5 to the power 0. So this becomes. Let's take another example. In this case, we have taken 232, 2 to the power 3 into 29. we have to take perfect square so we'll take 2 to the power 0 and 2 to the power 2 here and we'll take 29 to the power 0 we can't take 29 to the power 1 so this will become 2 square is 4 plus 1 5 sum of odd and even factors of a number let's take now 180 if you will see 2 square into 3 square into 5 to the power 1 for odd factors i can take 2 to the power 0 here i cannot take any other power of 2 otherwise it will make it even right so 2 to the power 0 here i can take 3 to the power 0 3 to the power 1 3 to the power 2 and here i can take 5 to the power 0 and 5 to the power 1 this is 78 for even factors we will take 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 3 to the power 0 plus 3 to the power 1 plus 3 to the power 2 into 5 to the power 0 plus 5 to the power 1 quite simply this remains 78 only this becomes 4 Plus two six, so six into seventy eight, six into eight eight and four, six into seven is forty two and four is four sixty eight. Sum of all the numbers less than n and co prime to it. Okay, so let me take a very simple example. Let's take twelve. The numbers co prime with twelve are one. Then you don't have two three, you don't have four, then you have five, you don't have six, then you have seven, and then you have eleven. So these four numbers are co prime. With twelve, so what will be the sum of all these numbers? Sum of all these numbers is five plus one, six plus seven, thirteen plus eleven, twenty-four. Now, how can we generalize it? Let's take another simple example. So, for six, you have one and five as co-prime. So this becomes six here. How do you generalize it? I am sure you've all studied Euler's number, right? Sum of all the numbers less than a given number and co-prime to it is given as sum is equal to n into Euler's of n divided by two. For example, in this case, the number twelve into the Euler number. So, what is the Euler number here? Four and divided by two. So, the answer is twenty-four. In this case, the sum is given as six into Euler of this number, which is two divided by two. So, the sum is six. Right. So, you can calculate sum of all the numbers less than a given number and co-prime with it. Let's take another example. Eighty-four. You can write it as two square into three into seven. So, how do you calculate Euler number? So, Euler number of eighty-four. We have done this in the remainders video. I hope you've seen that. So, Euler's of eighty-four will be given as eighty-four into one minus one by the first prime number, which is two. One minus one by the second prime number, which is three, and one minus one by the third prime number, which is seven. So this becomes 84 into 1 by 2 into 2 by 3 into 6 by 7. This cancels. This is 2 here. This is 
12 into 2 is 24 so Euler number is 24 now how do you calculate the sum of all the numbers less than 84 and co prime with it sum will become 84 into this Euler number 24 divided by 2 so this becomes 84 into 12 right so we can just multiply 4 times is 48 and 4 8 times is 96 and 4 is 100 moving forward number as a product of factors so if I have any number let's say 12 in how many ways can I express it as product of factors you can write this as 1 into 12 you can write it as 2 into 6 3 into 4 then you can write 4 into 3 then you can write 6 into 2 and then you can write 12 into 1 right so basically you write it as product of two numbers x and y so there are two things here there is something called an ordered set and unordered set if i am taking 1 into 12 and 12 into 1 as different elements as different units because in this case x is equal to 1 and in this case x is equal to 12 in this case y is equal to 12 in this case y is equal to 1 when x comma y is not equal to y comma x such a set is called ordered set in the second case talking about unordered in that case 1 into 12 is basically same as 12 into 1 2 into 6 is same as 6 into 2 and 3 into 4 is same as 4 into 3 such sets are called unordered sets many a times you, you would have seen find out unordered solution or ordered solution I hope the difference is now clear so here if there are no conditions in how many ways can you represent a number as product of two multiples or product of two factors quite clearly this is equal to the number of factors so for 12 which is 2 square into 3 to the power 1 the number of factors is 3 into 2 which is 6 you can see here the number of ways we have represented it is 6 let's take a couple of cases to understand it better the first case is when n is not a perfect square like the one we had taken for 12 okay if you want ordered solution wherein x comma y is not same as y comma x 1 comma 12 2 comma 6 3 comma 4 4 comma 3 then you have 6 comma 2 and 12 comma 1 so 6 solutions you have so ordered will be equal to the number of factors in this case the number of factors is 6 unordered so if I take 1 12 is same as this so this goes for a toss 2 comma 6 is same as 6 comma 2 so no double counting 3 comma 4 is same as 4 comma 3 so how many solutions if unordered if unordered the number of solutions will be number of factors by 2 so number of factors of 12 is 6 6 by 2 will become 3 talking about the case when n is a perfect square let, let's take another number let's take 36 again interesting so can be written as 1 into 36, 2 into 18, 3 into 12, 4 into 9, 6 into 6 and after this it will start repeating. So 9 into 4, 12 into 3, 18 into 2, 36 into 1, right? So basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 36, these are the factors of 36. How many factors? 36 can be written as 2 square into 3 square. So the number of factors will be 2 plus 1, 3, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 into 3, 9. Okay, if it is ordered and there are no conditions, then the number of ways in which you can uh, write it as product of two numbers will be equal to the number of factors, which in this case is 9. If it is ordered and it asks for distinct solutions, then 6 into 6 is not allowed. In that case, how many solutions? There are 8 solutions, which is number of factors minus 1 if both the numbers have to be distinct and you want unordered then you you know between 1 and 36 and 36 and 1 you only select one of this so you select one here you select between 2 18 18 2 you select one between 3 12 and 12 3 you select one between 4 9 and 9 4 you select one so there are four numbers here which is the number of factors 9 minus 1 by 2 the unordered solution in case of distinct will become factor minus 1 by 2 finally when it is unordered and unconditional 1 into 36 is counted same as 36 into 1 so this is gone 2 into 18 is counted as 18 into 2 so this is gone 3 into 12 is same as 12 into 3 this is gone 4 into 9 is same as 9 into 4 this is gone so there are 5 solutions so I can write this as 9 plus 1 by 2 which is f plus 1 by 2 moving forward 
to the final piece number as product of two co primes so let's say 12 what are the co primes here one you don't have 2 3 4 then you have 5 then you have 7 then you have 11 if i take one of these numbers so 1 and 12 i can take 3 and 4. so this is another solution in this case 1 comma 12 and 3 comma 4 so how many solutions two solutions it depends on the number of distinct primes in the factorization so 12 can be written as 2 square into 3 So how many primes are there? There are two primes, two and three. So what is the value of this small n here? Two. So how many ways can you write as product of two co-primes? Two to the power this two minus one, two minus one. So two to the power one, which is equal to two. And if you really want to express it as ordered, unordered, so in in unordered there will be two solutions. So two to the power n minus one is unordered. You know, make it ordered. Then what will happen? Then with one twelve, you'll also have twelve comma one, and here also you'll have one more four comma three. So ordered solution will become two to the power n in this case. And factors is done for cat. Revise, solve more questions, and God bless.